So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, there's a lot of fake and false news and all these jokes floating around today. And a lot of y'all been falling for them too. But this, this my friends is real. And we love it. We absolutely love it. LJ Fort is back in the building. Should have never left, but you know, this has been a crazy salary cap year and Ravens were trying to get their money right. So, okay, cool, cool, cool. I remember when the, the move initially happened, when they first released LJ Fort. I was like, um, but why? Um, I, this don't sit well with me. I, I wasn't feeling it at all. At all. Now, I understand they did just draft Patrick Queen. I understand they even drafted Malik Harrison. They double dipped at the linebacker position last year. Then they even brought back Chris Borden, and we expected him to take on more of a role on defense. And those are still all things that definitely have value. But still, that veteran guy, I know they weren't just going to throw them to the wolves, the linebacker group, were they? We almost thought. But the Ravens said, no, 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 no. LJ Ford, don't go anywhere. LJ Ford, don't sign anywhere. LJ Ford, we want to bring you back. And there have been a lot of times over the years where the Ravens have cut somebody and they be like, oh, well, hopefully we can bring them back in the building. And they don't get brought back in the building. We've seen it time and time again. But I'm glad that this one, this went down. Because this is a beautiful thing. Now, LJ Ford coming back to the Ravens. What does that mean for the Baltimore Ravens? Well, that means you have that veteran presence. That veteran IQ and that veteran play. LJ Ford is somebody that he doesn't get enough credit where he should. LJ Ford is a very, very good tackler. A very, very good open field tackler too. He is a very instinctive player. He's a very smart player. He knows his stuff. And when you watch LJ Ford play, he's not the fastest. No, not at all. He's not the strongest. But this dude, you can tell that he's a student of the game. And that's what separates a lot of people when it comes to football. And that's when, when people can't rely on just pure athleticism, when they can't rely on just pure talent. And I'm not saying that LJ Ford doesn't have talent, but all the other guys are younger. So they can sort of make up what they lack uh, football experience-wise. Sometimes they can make that up if they're so fast or if they're so strong, they can make it up. But once you get older, you get a little bit slower. But then you got to start relying on wisdom. And LJ Ford, you could tell by the way that he plays the game that he he studies. He studies. He does his homework on his opponents, man. We see this. We saw it last year. We saw it the year before last. That's why I'm glad that he's back a Raven again. This is a good move. This is a move that makes me very, very, very happy. And it should make you very, very, very happy. It really should. So shout out to the Ravens for making this happen. Um, now heading into the draft, nobody talked about linebacker, inside linebacker being a position of need for the Baltimore Ravens because it's not. It wasn't. And, and even after they had released LJ Fort, we still didn't see it as a position of need for the Ravens to draft somebody there. I mean, you just drafted Patrick Queen. You just drafted Malik Harrison last year. And you, again, you brought back Chris Board. So one move that I could and did see them doing was signing a veteran at inside linebacker. A just-in-case guy, a backup guy, uh, somebody that could fill in if needed, and somebody that could help the young guys continue to progress. Because while Patrick Queen, he started off the season hot, but then toward the end of the season, he got a lot quieter. And Patrick Queen, as a blitzer, ooh, that boy, whoo, like the flash. Uh, but what he needed to work on uh, this season, this offseason, I would definitely say uh, pass coverage. That was one of Patrick Queen's weaknesses was pass coverage. Now, Malik Harrison. Malik Harrison. <laughs> that poor Malik Harrison. And my arms don't do it justice. Malik Harrison, he's going to come with it too. And I still, even though they brought back LJ Ford, I do think that Malik Harrison's role is going to continue to increase. Now, with Chris Board, I know they love him on special teams. LJ Ford's a good special teamer, too. So we'll see what happens with them. But I do still expect 
Malik Harrison's role to increasing him to continue pushing for more and more uh, playing time as the season goes along. Because you don't just draft a linebacker. What was he, a third round, a fourth round pick? I forget which one. But you don't just draft him just to be chilling, just to be relaxing, just to be on the sideline. Mm -mm, no, no. Especially after what you saw from Malik Harrison when he was on the field. He looked good in pass coverage. And I, I think that Malik Harrison looked better than Patrick Queen in pass coverage. But that's why they are just, they're, they're such a great complement to each other. They're a great complement to each other. And those two together, they're going to be a problem for years to come. And I don't just say that because I'm a Ravens fan and I, I want every player on the Ravens to succeed, which I do. But if you looked at them, both of them from last year, you could see how their games complement each other. They complement each other. Patrick Queen, he, he brings that speed. He brings that speed at the linebacker position. He does things quick, fast, and in a hurry. Malik Harrison, he brings speed too, but he brings that power, that force. Where, hey, Malik Harrison ain't messing around, y'all boys. You better watch out for Leak Leak. But anyway, with LJ Fort, I think what his role on this team is going to be is obviously somebody that can come in and make some things happen. But I think his role is going to be more so as a leader to these young men. And I think LJ Ford is going to be somebody that's sort of, and I don't like just throwing around the, the whole mentor role. Because, you know, whenever somebody calls another player a mentor to the younger players, then that usually means that that player is not going to be on the field too much. You, you, you notice that, right? Listen, next time you hear somebody say, oh, man, we're bringing him in. He's going to mentor the young guys. He's going to mentor those younger players. Usually every time somebody says that, it's about somebody that's not going to get significant play time. But I don't think that about LJ Fort, but I do think he will continue uh, to show Patrick Queen and Malik Harrison and even Chris Board the ropes. And they can build a cohesive unit all together because these are four linebackers that do each have their own set of skills. And they each bring something to the table. So I'm looking forward to what this means for the Ravens' future on defense at the linebacker position. But, and I'm also glad that they got this thing sorted out. I'm very, very glad that they got this thing sorted out. Because the Ravens were just, oof. We, this hurt a lot of our hearts when they cut LJ Fort. But now they have uh, righted that wrong. We love you, Ravens. We love you, LJ4. We happy that you're back. And we're looking forward to another season with him at the linebacker helm. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. I appreciate you all being so positive. Uh, I appreciate you all sending positive messages to each other, uh, uplift, uplifting comments, and just really just vibing on here, man. Thank you so much for that because it means a lot. Because like we always say, you don't know what somebody on the other end of that YouTube comment is going through. So if you show them respect, you show them kindness, you show them em em empathy, you just ne you never know. Something so small like a positive comment to somebody, it can go such a long way. Seriously, man. It can go such a long way. So again, tell your people that you love them. Tell your friends that you love them. Tell your friends that you're thinking about them. Even if it's somebody that you're not even that close to. And, and take the time to really sit down and think about people who you may think, oh, they may be going through it right now. Some people may have been struggling before there was this whole pandemic thing. But think, think about those people. Check on those people. Hit those people up. Like, hey, I was just thinking about you. Hey, how's everything going? Hey, just checking in on you. Hey, what's up? That's it. Something simple. And I promise you, it's, it's going to go a long way, man. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. Like LJ Fort is no longer when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. I'm out.